So um, you're just going to clean the glasses that you've just received in the post. Yeah. So let's just go over again because I didn't have it on. So what have you put into this liquid? Water and washing. Very liquid. That's okay. literally all I use. Have you put in cold water? Cold water, water. yeah. Okay. Um, and what, what's this machine? It's an ultrasonic cleaner, but it's okay. cheap cheap and cheerful. You okay. know, I'll occasionally, if I slightly worry about... Um, like if I really want to give it a really really deep clean for a yeah. long period of time, I take the lenses out. Okay. Um, not necessarily think they're going to damage it or anything like that, but it's just to remove the risk. You know, okay. realistically, to clean the lens, you don't need a lot. You okay. can put it in there for a couple of seconds, or just wipe it with a cloth. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the frame is normally the place that holds a bit more government and yeah, oxidation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So um, a bit of water, a bit of washing up cleaner. Um, I know you can get all the different. Uh, Additives you can get all this kind of stuff, but yeah. realistically, soap and water, soap and we'll do water the chuck it in there, plonk it on, let it go for a you know minute or so, a couple of minutes, depending on how dirty they are. Most of the time, they don't need more than a, a minute of a deep clean. Um, better do its thing, and that typically you know, clean do up great job. So, do you do anything else in terms of? Um, looking after the glasses when you receive them, you were talking about tightening yeah, up and stuff. I'll like tighten up. Yeah, you know, I'll give my little my little set of uh, screwdrivers. Okay, is, uh, it, is that a special screwdriver no, at all? No, it's a it's a pack up. Um, where do we go? Here we are. You know, you get your little sets. Okay. Okay. With all your different nibs on, but you do want a couple of different size um, flathead. Um, Sorry, people are bidding. Yeah, sure. uh, yeah a couple of different si uh, size flatheads okay. um, because the screws on washing on are sometimes slightly different. Yeah, um, you've got to be careful with screws. You want to get a good hold, good screwdriver. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to ruin the the, the tip of a um, a screw. And, there's, and then there's a pain in the ass to get the bastard out. Yeah. So yeah, you know that's what I did. Can you did you purchase that from um, like a local uh, DIY store? I think I got it online, Amazon. You yeah. know, cheap old jobby. Um, okay. They don't have to be expensive as long as they're decent enough and they're solid enough and you get good enough hold on it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, in terms of what I get with, you know, when I get them through, I'll, I'll typically chuck them in the old cleaner. Yeah. Um, I'll uh, tighten them all up. You can see all the gunk that's coming off it already. All the you know all this muck around the outside. Yeah, it doesn't take long to, to clean it up, uh, and then they go in the cabinet. Um, some are a little dry sash, you know those what they called um, the um, yeah the um, you get like shoe boxes and yeah. stuff. Those sort of dry, not the gelatin. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking kind of about. Yeah. Um, so d so have you bought a lot of those? No, oh, I've okay. got to get my shoe boxes and those kind of things. Oh, okay. I've got to get a pack of shoes, of, you know, half the time they come in the post. So that's a good idea, I might do that. Especially with the polarised lenses. Really? Polarized. Keep them as dry as possible. Yeah, or Chromax have a risk of the sort of films on them okay. mucking up. Yeah. Anything that's got a bit of technology in the lens mm -hmm. and the potential for humidity or temperatures to yeah. kind of, or lights to, yeah. to muck them up a little bit, yeah. it's worth. So it. so we're talking about um, market areas, like perhaps like South Asia, mm -hmm. Thailand, Malaysia. Yeah. You know, if you're buying from there, this India is going to be different. Yeah. Um, especially with the ultras. Okay. Uh, we've spoken about ultras earlier, yeah. but the, there's the potential for a bubble in the lens, the okay. polarizing film. It's basically a lens sandwich between, uh, or a polarized film sandwich between lenses. Okay. Uh, and the adhesive will often bubble, uh, okay. depending on humidity and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you're buying ultras, look out for that. It's, on a lot of ultras, 90% of ultras will have some sort of bubble on it. If it doesn't, get them over, keep them dry, keep them the same sort of temperature. Okay. Um, Good information. Yeah, I wouldn't put an ultra lens in here. Okay. Um, yeah. oh, fantastic. So yeah, you know, like I said, it doesn't take... So long. what's that? Five minutes? Well, it's a minute and a half so far, and yeah. you know most of the crap that was on there, all the stuff behind the nose pads, all the stuff that's underneath the sort of brow bar, that's all pretty much off there. Um, and how would you dry that? Just let it um, drip dry. Put it on a little bit of paper towel. Let it drip dry for a while. Get rid of all the main sort of stuff off it. 
as much as possible. Yeah. And then just use a normal um, cleaning cloth. Cleaning cloth. You know, normal one you get out there at your pair of sunglasses, um, at your case. And out of all of the cleaning cloths um, that you've come across, would you say they're all the same? Would you say there's one better than the other? Bosch and Long didn't have many. You know, they didn't. There's not a huge, huge amount of ones there. I mean, you quite often see these sort of yellow ones. Yeah. There's not a massive variation in them. Um, these days, you get a couple of different sort of. This is more of a sort of microfiber yeah. sort of feel to it, whereas that's just more of a sort of cotton sort of stuff. Yeah. To be honest, I don't think there's much of a difference in them. They're all going to do the same sort of job. Um, yeah. Now Ray Ban, they did have. Um, they did like a um, a collaboration with um, what they called something Claire. Okay. Um, I can't remember the top of my head, but I'll I'll put a picture um, of the actual cloth, which are a much thicker version. And, and they're pretty decent, but uh, they're very difficult to get hold of. When I first, it's typical when we're talking about um, having regrets about not purchasing. When I first started collecting, somebody was selling off all these cloths, yeah, right. and like they come in different colours. I think there's about five or six different colours, oh. and I was just more interested in the sunglasses, so I couldn't be asked to pick up the cloths. And now I'm thinking, fuck me, I should have picked <laughs> up the cloths because you never see them nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very nice. Okay. Lovely. All cleaned up, all sparkly, no no gunk in there, no rubbish. And how often do you clean your glasses? I'm not as good as I should. As you see in here, I've got a dog, I've got you know, dust around the place. Yeah. Um it's one of those Sunday jobs I like. If I've got if I've got <laughs> yeah. you know, you've got we, nothing we, else. We get the odd post. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> got nothing else going on, have a little sit down. Get them all out on the table like this. Yeah. Have a little polish, care if anything that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Uh, have a little look around, see if oh, I can do that. I can tighten up that. I can clean yeah. that off. Um, yeah, but it's not. It's not. You know, once every couple of months, maybe I'll get them all out and I'll, I'll have a proper little clean. But, yeah, that's fair. But yeah, not as often as I should. Yeah. And are they behind? Are they in a case behind a door? They're in a cabinet. I mean, okay. You want to see? Oh, okay. um, oh, nice Woody's poster. Very yeah, nice. Beautiful. I should have bloody bought that before you. <laughs> yeah, I was so holding off, holding off, <laughs> and then you go bloody buy. <laughs> These are the silica gel. That's it, silica gel. That's so, yeah, it. I have a couple of them that I kind of hang around the place, and yeah, they they live in here um, with uh, with my light and my. I so how many how many more. can you fit in this? Uh I mean they all fit. All of those that were at the yeah, they all fit in there happily. I used to just have these two, and then I bought another couple of um, shells. P yeah, Perspex ones. Yeah, yeah um, and they all happily fit in there. You could fit, you know, probably double the amount really if you squeezed okay. them all in. So, do you have anything? Because um, I know you used to have a case, mm. like a proper. Mm. Um, do you have any other bits and pieces from Ray Ban? Um, so, is that a Bosch and Lom um, so disc? Yeah, I mean. That's a uh, okay. That's a little sort of paperweight sort of yeah. thing. Um, I've got um, some lens samples. Uh, oh man, you've got the oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Do okay. you still have the card? Uh, yeah, somewhere. I'll be in here somewhere. I'll be yeah. on the bottom of one of them, and you know, I have a little. Bits and pieces that I have around the place, and yeah. you know, tags, and uh, there's a t-shirt up here, and, yeah. and a cap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got, I, I like the posters, you know, I've yeah, got, yeah, I've got a fair few posters. And that's, a really, and that's a really nice that's poster. Yeah, really nice. um, yes, I'm very jealous of that. Yeah. you got the good, decent price for that as well. Yeah, no, it's pretty much brand new as well. Yeah. Um, these aren't necessarily... Mine, but is this our friends? Is it? <laughs> is that the one he's trying to blimmin' sell to me? Yeah, 
Yeah. So if anybody wants this, this is a. Uh, so like a dealer stamp. Yeah, so, um, it's a dealer stamp basically. Let me see if I can show you or something. We know the person who wants to sell it. Fifty quid or nearest offer. <laughs> yeah, and also that. Uh, oh. Ooh. Oh, this pokes his interest. Is that? Is that his as well? How much does he want for that? I doubt a lot. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna have to speak to him now. So yeah, this yeah, just, okay. So this stamp. This stamp. If you can kind of see in the in the if you get in the right light. Mm. If you go in the sun. Oh yeah. There we go. You can see that? We've got a stamp there, so that's a dealer stamp. What does it say, um, Jack? It says Bosch and Lam authorised dealer number 0427 or 2T, something like that. Okay, cool. So 50 quid or nearest offer for the dealer stamp. They're sold for lots. I've, I've seen them going for silly money before, yeah, so. Definitely. So yeah, you know, I don't I mean I've got a few little cloths here and there, but nothing. Let's have a look at that orange cloth. There's that Arab one, is it? I got one with a pair of Wayfair and Max. That's a nice one, that one. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, very nice. Yeah, they're all the same, all the same clothes. Very nice. Yeah, the Saudis are starting to get into their vintage collecting because there's a lot of guys that um, I hear from from that area right. of the world. Um, they're all always asking me questions and, and so forth. Um, so yeah, I think they're starting to starting to get into it as well. And because they have oil money, they're just buying up the place. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's the end of a day in a life of a vintage Ray-Ban collector. Yes, it was a seven part series. I literally did no deleting of any material. We literally spent a couple of hours in the afternoon it was really hot that day I came back and I've literally just put it out there's just so much information for you for you to start your own collection to improve your own collection uh, to get more information about some of your sunnies in your collection um, without Jack without his knowledge this video wouldn't have been possible so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank him. Uh, really, really useful information that he has given you. Please spread the word. We are a small community, as you know, um, but we need to get more people involved. We need to get more people excited about vintage Ray-Bans. Um, but yeah, thanks, Jack. Really appreciated, mate. And, uh, and I'm sure, obviously, we'll, we'll talk maybe for part two. Uh, as we've discussed um, but in the meantime please subscribe if you haven't done click that thumbs up button and I'll see you next time on the next video peace